Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I'd like to share with you a couple of items that I've just bought that hopefully will improve my videos and uh, especially the vlogging. So uh, let's take a look. So guys what we've got is the Boya BY MM1 Universal Cardioid Microphone and the uh, Ulanzi, I think that's how you pronounce it, Ulanzi Smartphone Holder. So let's take a look at them. So guys let's start with the microphone. Now this is not a proper unboxing because I've already had it out of the box and had to play with it and checked it and make sure everything's working. But I thought I'd just uh, take it out of the box so you can see how well it's packed. So let's get on with it. So the box is very well made, pretty well packed. Let's make sure I get it out the right way. So there you go guys, that's what we actually got in the packet. Let me just turn it round and uh, just going to zoom in a bit folks so if you just bear with me. So guys, let's see what we've got. So to start off with, we get the shock mount with a normal hot shoe or cold shoe mount on the bottom and also a tripod bush in the bottom. Now to be fair, that's quite stiff. So I don't know how much of the shock it'll absorb, but it is actually quite stiff. I'll put that down to one side. Right now we've got two leads in here, folks. And these are very important. So the first lead, which is this one here, I don't know if you can see it. This is just a standard, I think it's a three and a half mil jack plug with the three connections. So I think one is your ground and left and right channels. I think that's just sort of a standard three and a half mil jack. And this one we actually use to connect the uh, microphone to your camera or uh, camcorder. I apologise for the seagulls in the background, it would be nice if we were living by the sea, but unfortunately we're not, let's just move that in there. So this is the important one folks. So this is the one that we used to connect the microphone to our uh, smartphone. And you can see the difference, you can see the difference in the um, plugs in the bottom. This one is the same as the other one, which is just the three connections. But this one actually has four. You can see that very well. So I'm going to bring it up there. Let me let it focus. Or not. Probably not. But that one's got four, folks. Now I think, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to do a bit of research. But I think it's something to do with the fact that your smartphone has a microphone and your audio coming out of the same socket for your headphones. I think that's what it's for. I'm not 100% sure. I'll we'll put that to one side. We get a, if you can see about it, open focus. It's a little toy wrap. So, and we get a nice little pack. Oops, okay. Out the one side. Right, so we get the microphone out. So let's just slide the pack in the one side, folks. So this is the microphone, complete with a dead cat. Don't really like, like the name dead cat. Don't know actually how it come to be called a dead cat. I'm sure somebody might uh, put that in the comment, but let's have a look at the microphone itself. So there you go, guys. That's the microphone. Very well made. It's actually quite heavy. There's your input in the bottom, and uh, I think it's because of cardio. I'm not again not sure because I know nothing about audio, but I think the idea is it picks mostly at the front with very little at the side and hopefully nothing at the back. But again, folks, as I said, uh, audio is not my strong point. I know nothing about audio, so this is going to be a bit of a learning curve. But there you go, folks. That's what we get in the box with the microphone. So we get the microphone. That's the lead there for your just your normal collection to your DSLR and your uh, camcorder shot mount. And this is a special one to connect to your uh, mobile phone. I know you can actually see on the bottom there. Let's just turn it around. But it actually says smartphone on that one. If you yeah, and if you turn it over, there's a picture of a smartphone and on this end again the picture of the microphone and uh, just says there if I turn it says there uh, microphone there folks and the dead cat so there you go folks that's the Boya BY MM1 microphone so folks we now take a look at the Ulanzi smartphone holder now I've got loads of smartphone holders they're much the annoyance of my wife Karen, she thinks I've got a fetish, but uh, they've all got their little jobs to do. So let's take a look at this one. Got the box on side, guys. 
of the package. Right, so what we've got is a pretty standard, if you like, smartphone holder. This one is actually made of uh, aluminium. It's very well made, actually, folks, I have to say. The usual uh, opening, closing, there to clamp to your phone. But this one is different because on the top there, it's got the uh, cold shoe adapter, or a cold shoe mount, if you like. And that, if you bear with me, folks, I shall show you the purpose of that. So there you go, folks. There's the microphone uh, shop mount. So now, guys, you see, we can actually, we're tightening that up there, we can mount the microphone on there and connect the microphone to our smartphone to hopefully improve the audio. So that was, uh, that was the reason I'm buying that one there, only because of that. So there you go, guys. That's the, the Ulanzi, uh, I'm having trouble saying it, that's the Ulanzi smartphone holder. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're actually going to try a few test videos using the microphone, just to show we get on. So guys, there's the Boya microphone mounted on my Sony AX53 camcorder. I haven't put the dead cat on for the minute, we'll try that later on, but uh, that's what it looks like mounted on my uh, Sony AX53 camcorder. So we'll give, a, give the audio a try now. So guys, this is the audio from the built-in microphone on the Sony AX53 camcorder. To be honest, I don't think the audio is actually that bad on this microphone, but uh, this is the audio from the microphone. Anyway guys, so what I'm going to do now is uh, plug in the uh, Boya microphone and we'll try it and see what that's like. So the Boya microphone is now plugged into the camcorder, so we should be hearing the audio now from the Boya microphone, not the camcorder's own built-in microphone. I'm not really going to know there's any different until I actually get to the editing stage, but I certainly hope it's better. Now all I will say is at the moment I've changed none of the camcorder settings or the audio settings, it's all set to default or automatic or whatever it is. As I said earlier guys I know nothing about audio so uh, everything's going to be set to automatic until I've learned a bit. But hopefully it's going to be better. So as you can see we've now got the microphone mounted onto the smartphone holder and my Samsung Galaxy S7 clamped into the smartphone holder as well. So that's quite a neat sort of setup there. We're going to try a vlog style video in a minute, but I just wanted to show you what the setup looks like. So now we're just going to do a, a normal vlog, if you like, folks. So I've got the forward facing camera on my uh, Samsung Galaxy, and uh, we're using the built in microphone. So again, it's probably not brilliant, but uh, it does the job. Uh, one thing I have found, though, that the uh, smartphone holder, being uh, all aluminium construction, is actually added quite a bit of weight to the selfie stick I'm using so uh, I have to bear that in mind when uh, I'm doing some vlogging but anyway guys we're now on the Samsung's built-in microphone so I'm going to swap it over now and uh, try the uh, Boya microphone so guys you're now listening to 3, 2, 1 so guys you're now listening to the audio from the Boya microphone connected to my Samsung Galaxy S7 hopefully it's an improvement in the audio if not, I've wasted me money. Oh, and talking of money, the microphone was a shade under £40 here in the UK. And the smartphone uh, clamp was, I think it was just a tad under £15. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a, a nice little setup. As I said, it's a budget setup. Um, maybe in the future I will uh, get better microphones. But at the minute, it's just a learning curve, guys. Because uh, I know absolutely nothing about audio. And uh, so I'm going to be learning, hopefully... Uh, will improve the audio but anyway guys that's the uh, Boya connected to my Samsung S7 oh and one word of warning uh, I've also got a um, iPhone uh, 5s which I probably use for most of the vlogging when I was on a recent holiday but what I found is this clamp actually is too large so when it's the clamp screwed down it doesn't actually grip hold of the, <laughs> the phone at all so what I say is, guys, if you are going to get one of these phone clamps, I would uh, measure the dimensions of your phone before you buy it. Uh, luckily, it, it fits the Samsung great, but uh, it doesn't fit uh, the iPhone 5S. But I have a solution for that, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So uh, here we go, guys. So we'll catch you again in a minute. So guys, here's my solution to collecting the... So guys, here's my solution to connecting the Boya microphone to my iPhone 5S. So as you can actually see there folks, I've got the 
microphone connected to uh, my old Vivitar off-camera flash bracket there as you can see so the microphone is actually slid into the cold shoe where the flash gun would actually sit and the phone is uh, connected or sat onto the uh, part where the camera clamps to using a usual standard uh, smartphone clamp one of the many that I have but there you go guys that's a bit of a solution I'm going to try that out now and see how it works so folks we're now on the iPhone 5s and we're using its built-in microphone so we're back on the iPhone 5s but we're using the uh, Boya microphone now which is sat over in this corner here so guys I'm going to do one final test so what I've got is my Samsung Galaxy S7 sat on a tripod a bay, well just uh, arm's length in front of me sort of what, a couple of foot maybe uh, but certainly just on arm's length in front of me so what we're doing is we're using the built-in microphone on the Samsung and I'm going to do a swap over to the uh, external mic or the boyer mic in a minute and I will try that but what I have to report is that uh, when I plugged it into my iPhone 5s to try the uh, microphone it didn't make any difference the microphone didn't work in the iPhone 5s uh, and I did read on the internet that uh, the iPhones could possibly be wired up differently uh, inside so we can't use the standard or the standard wiring in 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 the in the uh, lead that we've got i'm not sure but uh, it certainly didn't work at all so that might account for why the little lav mic didn't work but uh, so what we're using now is we're actually using the built-in microphone on this samson so i'm now going to uh, turn it off and uh, plug in the uh, shotgun mic and try that and what i will do is also i will stick the uh, dead cat on to see how much difference that actually makes so guys, hopefully you're now hearing the audio from the Boya microphone. Nothing else changed, the phone's still in exactly the same position, yeah, about a uh, arm's length in front of me. Nothing's actually changed at all. So hopefully we can actually get some improvement on audio now the actual setup's a lot closer. Hopefully it'll be more noticeable. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I will actually plug in the little lav mic so we can actually get a comparison between the lav mic which will be mounted up here and uh, the microphone which is sort of sat up there somewhere folks uh, again about a foot away so we're going to try that and then uh, we'll bring this little uh, video to an end so folks we're now on the lav mic which is mounted just up here on my t-shirt I don't know if you can actually see it there uh, it'll probably be a lot louder than the uh, little shotgun microphone we've been using but uh, obviously it will be because it's a lot closer uh, one thing I did find with it though um, on the last set of videos that I did it was uh, it overdrove the system it's very loud and uh, I had to keep lowering the volume uh, in the editing software because it, it was just overpowering I, I know that perhaps I can move the microphone further away but perhaps that sort of defeats the object a bit and the other annoyances with this microphone is obviously it's wired so we have to have the the wire trailing um, so hopefully I can uh, do away with using the lav mic and stick with the shotgun mic which is up there and uh, the audio a little bit be a little bit more perhaps balanced across the sort of videos instead of chopping between this and and that one but uh, anyway folks we'll give it a try as i said the audio is uh, not my strong point so one more thing i'm going to try is i'm going to stick the dead cat on and see how much difference that makes and uh, we'll call that it for the set of videos so guys here's the last part of the test and what i've got is the dead cat mounted onto the microphone and that's just sort of sat up here it's quite uh, a large dead cat for a very small microphone don't like calling it a dead cat i think we're going to call it a wind muff so anyway guys that's it that's uh, really all i can do with the test i hope you can hear it uh, obviously i'm not going to know until uh, i edit it but uh, we're going to call that it for this set of videos so uh, i think we'll make this a two-parter so what we'll do next time is uh, we'll go out to perhaps around some local parks etc and uh, we'll try the microphone uh, on the uh, Sony AX53 camcorder with and without the microphone uh, do the same with uh, the smartphone here with and without we'll just give some uh, just see what's like outside folks so uh, that's it for now hopefully you enjoyed this uh, rather long video and we'll catch you all again soon bye bye for now